Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. I am well too. My name is Marilyn and welcome back to my channel. If you like such content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed anytime I make a new posting. Today I want us to drive to downtown Nairobi and see why most people say it is chaotic and messy. Let's go! downtown Nairobi looks like on Sunday morning Road. River Road is where you find uh, buses that traverse East Africa region, those that go to Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania. Many shops are closed now because of being a Sunday. But I'm sure we'll see some buses uh, around. There's a host of activity. Being a Sunday, still you find uh, the roads are busy. We are still on River Road. Also find buses going to the coastal part of Kenya that is Mombasa Malindi around here You see why uh, downtown Nairobi is much uh, busy and uh, messy compared to Kigali, Rwanda. I say because uh, mostly uh, this is the economic hub of East Africa, guys. So there's a host of activities happening. This is where the economy of Nairobi is supported from. This is where there is business. This is where the money is made. So it would only make sense that uh, it is busy. The roads are very busy. Host of activity.
so much is going on that those who are going to church those who come to buy things for their shops it's a bit risky uh, being a female driver here. Sometimes they uh, they pick on the side mirrors. the heart of downtown Join Kirinyaga Road. Kirinyaga Road is where you're likely to find uh, spare parts for vehicles and uh, motorbikes. And also, this is where you find tires. You come uh, for car tires. This is where you're likely to find them. But mostly, the shops sell uh, auto spares. So, this is Kirinyaga Road. This road will take us back to the Globe Cinema roundabout. Most shops are closed. It's the best time to drive around because there are less vehicles. Otherwise, uh, you better off leaving your vehicle somewhere parked and then taking a motorbike uh, coming downtown.
guys if you've been new to nairobi uh afia center the green building is where most people get their bearings from so this is where most people are directed to get to then uh, find their direction yeah so it's common to the, the new people who are coming to the city they're always told to locate afia center this green building over here then find their bearing from there we are on Tomboya Street so these are where you find vehicles going to Machakos and the Ukambani area and so from Tomboya we join Heselasi Street or Heselasi Avenue find the biggest market so it's always uh, actually it doesn't sleep it operates 24 hours and uh, people come from all over to buy farm produce from this market here yeah. we are on hasty last avenue I say this is where the money is made and so kind of busy this is the market downtown Nairobi on a Sunday is very busy just like uh, on a weekday church here is what separates downtown Nairobi on my right hand side from the uptown Nairobi you can see uh, it's characterized by few people the roads are clean also being a political season uh, there's just so much going on a lot of campaigns a lot of movements are happening so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like such content please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed anytime I make a new posting I will see you on my next one bye